So I've mentioned before that one of my favorite children's authors is John Sheska, who uh, wrote The Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid stories, um, and several other stories that are my favorites. One of the things I love that he does, it's kind of one of my favorite children's book tropes, if you will, is the the fairy tale turned upside down. Because we've grown up hearing these fairy tales, and 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 they're so you know and and. Uh, Disney has given us versions of them that we've enjoyed over the years, but John Sheska takes them and turns them a little, uh, makes them a little bit, um, a little bit, I don't know, funny, you know, ridiculous and enjoyable. So an example of that is today's children's book tale, which is The Frog Prince Continued uh, by John Sheska. Uh, paintings by Steve Johnson. And when I say paintings, I mean, like, look at these, gor this gorgeous art, Okay. Now, here's what this story is about. We all know the story of the frog prince, right? He gets kissed by a princess and turned into a pr back into a prince and uh, lives happily ever after, right? Well, in this story, the frog prince does not live happily ever after. Him and the princess do not get along. He has too many frog-like traits that annoy her, and they're heading for divorce or just a miserable life together. And so the frog prince sets off to try and find a witch to turn him back into a prince so that he can live happily ever after. But as he's looking for a witch that will turn him back into a prince, he runs into a lot of the witches that we're familiar with, right? He runs into the witch connected to Sleeping Beauty and so on and so forth. And so he has to avoid their evil schemes and machinations in order to find someone that would be willing to please turn him back into a frog so he can live carefree back on the pond. This is a fun, uh, funny, uh, clever, and, and the, the art really, really adds to it because it, there's so many frog-like traits in the prints that are fun to watch. So I highly recommend that you find the frog prints continued and pick it up.